All right, what's up, everybody? We are back with episode 24 of One Piece, which is called Hawkeye Mihawk, the Great Swordsman Zoro Falls at Sea. Yeah, I'm going to guess that that, um, that 1v1 is still going to be playing out, you would think, right? That's why uh, Zoro will, in fact, you know, fall at sea over here, I guess. It's funny because Nami has already left. And that's, of course, a big difference with how it all unfolded back in the live-action series. I mean, I also think about the fact how the live-action series basically had introduced us to Arlong at this point already, right? And it was actually Arlong who showed up at Baratia 2 and got Nami to leave along with him, right? And here it kind of seems like, I don't think Arlong is going to be coming into the picture until we get to, like, Coco Village or whatever, right? Basically after the whole Baratia arc. So... Once again, there's the subtle differences that I very much sort of appreciate and it, you know, nonetheless helps to make this experience kind of feel fresh, which, yeah, like all in all, I just like a lot, right? Um, simultaneously, another, like, fascinating difference that I think about is the fact that Mihawk, we don't really know who sent him, right? All that we know is that he was going after Creek, Creek who tried going to the Grand Line and basically bumped into Mihawk over there, I think, right? It's interesting, too, because I kind of figured that, like, oh, yeah, the Grand Line is going to be a dangerous area, right? And I obviously have done all my speculating about when are we actually going to get there? What's going to be awaiting us over at the Grand Line? Something I very much wonder about. But I would figure that it would have been a different threat than Miok itself, you know, that would pose to be the biggest threat over there, right? Like, I would think, yeah, I don't know. I would think we, we would run into some weird, like, supernatural skeleton crew or something like that. Um, you know, like, like, that's kind of the threat I was expecting, but Kree got stopped by Mihawk, which that doesn't, I mean, what's, what's weird about that is that we know Mihawk works, I know at least, he works for the Marines, right? That's how it's supposed to be. I don't think they actually said that to us yet, uh, here in the anime either, and again, consider the fact that Garp has not even been shown to us whatsoever, and I, I, I hear from people that, like, apparently he doesn't show up until, like, hundreds of episodes <laughs> into the show. <laughs> so, it's playing out entirely differently in that regard, once again, right? And, I mean, maybe they'll still just basically tell us that, like, yeah, Mihawk works for the Marines, and that's all that we basically need to know, right? But what interest does the Marine have in... Like, why would they... Why would they have Mihawk guarding the Grand Line... Well, I guess to, to capture a bunch of pirates that would go looking for the One Piece, right? Yeah, that, that does still make, you know, like, decent sense, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm trying to fill in kind of the blanks for myself, but um, probably a little needlessly so, you know. For now, I should just kind of enjoy the ride for what it is, obviously. But, um, yeah, I mean, Creek once again, obviously got uh, done for in the last episode. <laughs> it's funny, because that's, of course, how it happened in the live-action series, too. Mihawk fucked them up. <laughs> except you know it happened a lot faster in the live action series and it was basically our introduction scene to mihawk whereas here we did a whole couple of episodes building up to getting introduced to Krieg and realizing that um Jin, i think it was called right yeah worked for him and stuff uh so you know all those once again details that the anime is making clear to me that the live action never really managed to do so but with that being said guys let's dive into this new episode of one piece and of course if you enjoy my reactions to the show you will be able to get early access to the next 24 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. So go and check it out. Full-length reactions, of course, are going to be up there too if you want to see me react to the episodes in their entirety. And you can also sign up as a free member and watch the next four episodes already right now. But with that being said, let's dive into this new episode. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of shocking to them because I don't think they really had any signs whatsoever yet in the anime that Nami, you know, would would see any reason to leave them or something, right? She hasn't really been antagonizing them either. Like, she's, I think she's done a better job overall in the anime of keeping her role kind of under wraps or whatever, right? Well, it's weird because simultaneously she did mention, yeah, like she mentioned that she needed the money, right? She mentioned needing, what was it, 100 million, I think, or something, right? Which, in the live action, she never did. But in the live action, she was more sort of antagonistic and not always on board at all times. Yeah, the Arlong one. That's the one that she came across. Did they notice? Yeah, 
I mean, you know, she's like going after him, but working for him, yeah, it's complicated. <laughs> like, technically, that's a strategy that she had as well, right? She could be turning all along in for the 20 million or, yeah, I don't know. No, she needed 100 million, I think, right? So even that wouldn't be enough. Oh. Oh. What the fuck is that about? She's just trying to get you out of her sights. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, she just dumped them into the sea. Yeah, fair enough. Business as usual. A thief that only targets pirates. I'll take this ship. Yep, yep, yep. Made a whole scheme clear here. Tell them I had lots of fun. If we're linked by fate, we'll meet again. Parting words. Fascinating, fascinating. Because, like, even that's something that I like that the live action series added is like her specifically taking care of Zora, right? After the Mihawk fight. Again, she left a little later, basically, right? But, um,. Yeah, like, she also showed these signs of truly sort of caring for, for them. Whereas, like, here, she's just been having fun. But it's not been, like, necessarily as close of an experience for her. You know what I mean? Like, where she feels as close to the characters yet, I think. More or less. <laughs> Oh, oh. Oh, and this is where it happened, huh? It was like right after, too. That's crazy. Yo, they didn't even have time to see the attack coming. Yep. Leading right back to it. Fascinating too how she took the going Mary, which did she did she did they take that in the live action series? I genuinely can't I don't think they did. I think they just left with like Arlong's ship, right? Yeah, Luffy's made up his mind, man. High maintenance. <laughs> It's not so much high maintenance, it's just, you know. When Luffy makes up his mind, he's committed. Oh, yo! You're telling me Mihawk is on this little ass boat? Oh, it looks like a coffin. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That is so awesome. Like a little coffin ship. Dude, look at him with the candle and everything. Such vibes coming off of it already. The music that's playing too. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mihawk. Dracul. Ah, the signature hat with the feather on it. Yeah, I want to prove yourself towards. Yep. Well, you haven't seen a sword in that case. Weapon is on his back. Yeah, 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 exactly. Like, who stands above all the other swordsmen in the world. His, um... Oh, shit. <laughs> like, Mihawk's weapon, actually, his sword that he can sort of just, like, swing and then there's these, like, weird 
flash is basically coming off it or whatever. It reminds me of the uh, the boss in Bloodborne, Ludwig, he was called. Fantastic theme, by the way. Oh my god. Ludwig, whatever they call them. But but um, yeah, he, he had a similar, like, he could do similar attacks. Easily the best boss in all of Bloodborne. Killing time? Really? That's your only motive here? Yeah, again, I wondered if he was still gonna end up being sent by the Marines. Surely this is not just about killing time to him. I think, um... Oh yeah, 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 yeah. In the live action show, he like cut into them or something, right? They they also had those like he he had those balls sent after him, and then he just like managed to split them up. Man is impressed. Yeah. Yeah, they really did have that duel, regardless. Damn, that's not gonna end well for you, though, Zora. And there's nobody to take care of you this time. No, Nami. Yeah. yeah, we got that to pay attention to as well. I mean, we can't really leave, though, with this guy in our vicinity, obviously. He's just gonna chase us down, so... Wow. I mean, he's not wrong, that's the thing. Ambition, yeah. I mean, you know, fair enough, but he, he, he's got a point, right? Like, you should basically see that this is a lost case already. You're not ready for this yet. I don't know if Zoro actually thinks he's ready for this yet. I mean, Zoro obviously already has a massive reputation, I will say, but I don't think it's this massive. Like, Mihawk has a whole different reputation. Yeah, here he comes again with that tiny-ass fucking bitch sword. <laughs> oh, man. You're a rabbit to me. The East Blue is the weakest among the four seas. Yeah, so I guess we'll still have the other three seas to explore as well, huh? Frog in the well. Hey, that's funny, because in the live-action show, they really made him get stuck in a well. <laughs> uh, just blocked all three of them like that, man. <laughs> yeah, no, Zoro just really wasn't prepared for it, huh? He didn't expect him to be this much above him, like a whole different league. Holy fuck. Whirlwind attack. Let's go. Oh, boy. Environmental damage. Ferocity. I mean, that's a compliment right there. Dude. Dude, the dead look in his eye. Oh, no. Queena. Yeah, don't think back to her in this kind of moment, man. That's just gonna get you majorly distracted. Oh, that's why it reminded him. Yeah, fair enough. Damn, the funeral. Yeah. 
He was in so much pain, dude. Oh. Oh, no. Okay, he's still standing. I was worried he was injured already. Fucking hell. I mean, he's all out of energy, though. He's done for. I mean, he's trying to hear his motivations, right? And that's actually what, what he respected, I think. <laughs> Yo, these guys. Exactly. Like, this is the thing that Mihawk basically respected, right? And it's why he ultimately left him alone. Even if he had gravely injured him. Oh, oh shit. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Wow, dude, this black and white art style is awesome. Literally the only place I've seen this so far was like Great Teachers on Izuka, uh, Great Teacher on Izuka's opening. <laughs>、<laughs> That's what I'm saying, right? That's what he respected. He was like, I won't finish the job entirely. I'll let him go and wait for a rematch. Oh, thank you. Oh, 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 actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he did that, I think, right? He did say that, like, I'll give you the privilege of, uh, of uh, battling my actual sword. Yeah, oh, yeah, the slide, the slide on the... I think that's what we saw, yeah. Close enough. Yeah, 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 right. It's all coming back to me. This is the kind of power you're gonna have to be prepared to face. Wow. Nah, I mean, that's exactly how it happened, though. It was a massive fucking cut. I'm actually trying to remember how we managed to keep him alive. <laughs> yeah, Luffy ain't getting him out of the water. Man can swim. Helpless as a newborn baby. Ah, actually, maybe if he just uh, pulls his arm only. Oh, oh, he wins. Holy shit. Yo, I don't recall. He went straight for Mihawk. And got his fucking head stuck, this idiot. <laughs> he's still he's still alive. He's still breathing. Such a fucking epic name too, man. Yep. Hold the seed of the strongest and wait. Oh, shit. Yep. Challenging him to a rematch. Because he wants to see what he can do later on, you know? I mean, I wonder. Like, I wonder if, you know, like, what's going to be necessary for Zoro to be able to defeat him, right? Like, is it just more sword practice? 
kind of doubtful no like are they teasing that zoro's gonna like i mean the only thing i can think of is eating a devil's fruit you know zoro gonna end up consuming one himself i actually wonder if we're gonna be coming across more of them and if other characters are gonna be consuming them too <laughs> exactly that's the end goal Oh. oh, as in I might not be the right man for this anymore, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because we finally come across somebody stronger than him. Man, we've heard you say that before, though. <laughs> Yo, but that's why I can't help but kind of appreciate Hawkeye too, right? I mean, I'm pretty sure he's like a fan favorite character and everybody's going to feel that same way. But like, he came here to have fun apparently, so he wasn't sent by the Marines? Is that just something they're going to reveal later that like he works for the Marines as well or that, you know, they they hire him or maybe they just came up with that on the fly, you know, in the live action series, right? That's also possible. But yeah, again, like it, it's he's an interesting character so far because he's just here to have fun, basically, right? While also appreciating Zoro. <laughs> well, he was supposed to, I'm pretty sure. You're supposed to be dead. Oh, okay, now you're asking for it, though. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this leaves us no choice, right? No, I don't think he did. Why, he didn't just leave, did he? Dude, the look how fucking big the ship is, by the way, compared to Baratia. I hadn't even realized it. Oh. Really? We're going to be splitting up here. Fascinating. Uh. Mary? Well, no, Nami's got Mary, right? So they're trying to... Are they going to try to take Usopp's ship now? And Well, our ship. Well, whatever fucking other ship we have. <laughs> anyway, you get the point. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the next 24 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up as a free member and watch the next four episodes already right now. So I'll see you there.